Hello, dear chess friends! I am glad to welcome you on our chess channel, and now we will analyze an interesting game in which the technique of two weaknesses was applied. Also, Magnus Carlsen and Fabiana Carana played another resultative game in Brazil. The French defense was played, and on the 13th move, White played g3, with the idea of transferring the bishop to g2. After this transfer, the bishop starts looking unkindly at the b7 pawn. The game begins on the queen side, and as a result, white gets at his ownership a half open line b. Black exchanges white's dangerous light squared bishop, then changes queens, and the endgame begins. Due to the fact that black has a backward b pawn, white has a slight advantage and initiative. Magnus Carlsen likes these positions. It seems like a draw on the board, but Carlsen is just starting to play. He fixes a weakness on b6 and begins actively actions on the king side, trying to create weaknesses there as well. He is shaking the position of black. This is a classic trick. The pieces and pawns of the defending side don't have time to effectively action on both sides, which leads to defeat. So it happened in this game. On the 47th move, black doesn't stand up and moves g takes f. Correct here g5, king b5, bishop d8. After g takes f, the black mistakes again, playing the bishop beats on f6. Well, even after the king moves on g6, rook g1 check, king f7, rook g7 check, king e6, rook h7, black's position is very difficult. Bishop takes f6 is the decisive mistake of black. After that, white quickly brought the game to victory. 